I think that, um, first of all, you know, we're in the, the Women's Garden of, of Reflection and Remembrance and, and that's what it's about. It's a day for us to recognise or stand back and, and recognise the contribution that women have made both to the Irish struggle and, and globally. Um, and, and it's a, a time of reaching out, you know, to other women to, and coming together as well in solidarity with each other and to remember those who, who when you look around at the flagstones, you know, and, and what this garden represents to women. So I think for, for me personally, it's, it's the one day of the year I make sure I put some time aside to remember the women that we have lost. Uh, and so many wonderful women, you know, and and also to look to the future for the young, vibrant women that we're producing today, and you know, globally and internationally, and here at home, it's a day where women come together to say we're here for each other. There's there's actually not a day where where we don't miss um, the people that we have lost, and and even though. It, it brings it more home to you, I suppose, when you do sit in the garden of reflection like this. But, you know, that's what it's about. That's what keeps us driven is, you know, sitting down every day doing what we have to do or going out and doing what we have to do. But we do it because they no longer can. So we have to do that over time for them. Our main speaker uh, today is a personal friend of Mary's. She was the, the first young fem female councillor on Belfast City Council. And it's an honour for me to actually you know, welcome Lily Fitzsimmons here today. As a young uh, elected representative a million years ago, people like Lily and Mary guided me in the road that I was on, and I'll never forget that. The war truly, there were true mentors to people bad enough getting into elected politics, but getting in as a young female is hard enough, and then getting in as a young female in the Lisburn Council is really bad enough, but you know, Mary and, and Lily and, and Tish and others like them led the, the foundation which made the road easier for me and people like me to do that. So I'm actually, it's a great pleasure to invite Lily to say a few words. You know, I always feel honoured <coughs> to ask you, be asked to address a, a gathering of Republicans on behalf of our departed comrades. And because of International Women's Weekend, I am addressing a very short speech to the brave Irish political women prisoners of the six counties, and also not forgetting the Relatives Action Committee. From the early 70s up until the present day, we have celebrated International Women's Day. Republican and nicest women have always been to the forefront of the numerous activities since August 1969. I have many memories of the last 43 years, from the burning up on Bay Street, the false curfew, internment, the H blocks, Armagh and McGabry prisons. And no one can ever forget 1981, when 10 men died on hunger strike protesting on behalf of the Irish political prisoners against the British criminalization policy. Sadly, many of the women who were to the forefront of our struggle for self-determination are no longer with us. Women like Murray Drum, Maria Farrell, Marie Wright, Laura Crawford, Eileen Hickey, Mary Moore, the list is just endless. Not forgetting the brave women of the Relatives Action Committee across the six occupied counties. They took to the streets of Ireland and abroad protesting against the unjust treatment of our sons, daughters, husbands, brothers and family members carried out by the British establishment. Today we honour Sinn Féin councillor Mary Moore who spent her adult life for the Republican struggle. I have worked closely with Mary and I know she would be proud to welcome you all here on this special day. I would just like to finish with a poem that I wrote several years ago. It is especially dedicated to the Irish mothers here in this part of Ireland. It is called Women Moving On. A group of ordinary women meeting once a week, listening and learning, each one eager to speak. 
We talk about our many skills, our stories are all told. Discussion continues as our ambitions all unfold. We have many talents, we are experts, that's for sure. We are the teachers, the financiers, the nurse that has the cure. We're the doctor, the lawyer, the judge who is always fair, the builder, the juggler, disputes we solve with care. We're told that we're the weaker sex, yet no job is too big or small. The key word is determination. We are just women moving on. At last her gallant soul took flight into the land where there is no night. But her name is carved into our hearts to stay as we think of the things that she used to say. So she is not dead, she is only gone on into her brighter, more wonderful dawn. For women like her were not born to die, but like the sun that shines in the sky, they warm the earth and hearts of women. And in happy remembrance they live again. So while she sleeps and her voice is still, her spirit goes on, and it always will. Mary was, knew, was, was known as Anne Van Ossel, which was a name given to her by Bobby Sands, and Clap mentioned the, her involvement uh, in, in the prison protests uh, with others here today. So if Clap can formally unveil the plaque. This garden is dedicated to women across the island who are on the role of honour and the role of remembrance. But there's thousands upon thousands of women out there who played a, a part in the struggle for Irish freedom. And we commissioned uh, the sculpture down there of the woman holding the baby. And that's dedicated to all those women who played whatever part that they played. Because they're the unsung heroes. They're the backbone of the struggle. And I'm going to ask Sheila Dara uh, to lay a wreath uh, at the sculpture on behalf of us today. Lily Fitz will be laying a wreath on behalf of the Rotties. And I'm going to ask people to have a minute of silence just to remember our friends and comrades and loved ones who have passed away. We're here today to celebrate International Women's Day and the, the focus of today's event is to commemorate Mary Moore, who's the one of the first Sinn Féin councillors, female councillors in Belfast City Council, prominent Republican in Belfast, and we thought it was a fitting tribute in International Women's Day to recognise Mary. We're doing it in the Women's Garden because this garden is dedicated to all those who've played a small part in the struggle for Irish freedom and also to those who are on the role of remembrance and the role of honour. Mary was well liked and well loved within not only within West Belfast, um, her family's here today as well and it just shows, it, it gives you the measure of the person that Mary was. There's a lot of young people here today, you know, Mary was seen as a veteran Republican but she was a mentor to, to, to me, she was a mentor like people like me and she led the way of getting female involvement in electoral politics. Um, I'm delighted, I was delighted to be asked to be part of the proceedings today. I think this is a beautiful garden to remember all the women. Um, but for Mary in particular, I mean, I didn't know Mary on a personal level, but she's just one of those people that it, just growing up, as a, as a young Republican growing up, she was always there. You just knew her, you just knew, and the inspiration that she gave to people, you know. And it's great, especially um, for young people coming along now, especially in politics, where, you know, there isn't as many women involved as there could be in politics, you know. And it's great to see the likes of Mary and everything that they've done within within politics to move it on and lay the pathway for, for young female Republicans coming along. Well, I think International Women's Day is very important and I think for Republican women it's very important um, because traditionally women tend to get written out of history and not to be remembered whenever people are looking back and people are recording struggles and people record what happened and that's a global um, theme. It's something that happens everywhere so we need to do what we can to ensure that women aren't written out of history because the role that they've played in our struggle um, has been so important that probably we couldn't have had the successes we've had without women um, and probably internationally if you were to ask women or ask people around the world like who, who would you remember from the Irish struggle there's key names you know they'll say Marie Farrell, they'll say Maura Drum, they'll say Anne Devlin, they'll say um, Countess Markovic but I 
think behind all those women and all those phases of struggle, there's been thousands of other women who have been just doing their bit and playing a role without whom you, you know, the struggle wouldn't have been successful. So it's important that just to remember the role of women. Also, I tend to think about the women in the struggle who um, play a supporting role and you know people let their houses be used and um, the young mothers who went to prison um, and you know their children were left um, in the care of others and the trauma that that caused and nobody really I think can understand what that has felt like and what it is like for those women. I saw it but I don't really know what it felt like so I mean that that a huge sacrifice that people made. So um, I'm proud to be here today remembering Mary Moore and all the other women who played their role and I remember Mary when I was very very young and, and she was always there and part of the struggle so um, I think it's fitting that we're here and we've unveiled this plaque today and that we're remembering all those women and I'm proud to have known some of them.